Have you ever been at a session at a skate park and you're just practicing for a trick in the streets? Let's say it's a ledge, for example. You've got this trick that you want to throw down on this ledge you've seen in the streets and you're getting all hyped about it. You're putting together the different, the different tactics and you've got the trick every try and you hop in the car and you want to drive to the spot and experience the awesome feeling of landing the trick. And when you get there, what do you see? Skate stoppers. You can't hit the ledge because something is barring you. Something is blocking you. Well, when it comes to our relationship with God and discerning God's will, there is stuff that blocks us from that. Just like we want to do the trick on the ledge, but we can't. We want to follow God's will, but we can't. So what is this blockage? What are these barriers? Well, there's two main things that stand in our way of our relationship with God. The first is our sin, and the second is God's view of things. So let's talk about these two separately. So our sin, in Romans 3.23, it says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is not a single person who has not fallen short of God's glory. And 6.23 tells us that the penalty for that is death. So we are deserving of death because of the sin in our lives and the fact that we've fallen short of God's glory. So how do we get rescued from that? Romans 5.8 tells us that Christ died in our place. So we wouldn't have to experience what was due for us. That instead, out of his great love, he died for us. So since that sin is paid for, if you're in Christ, you're good to go, right? Well, not exactly. The flesh of our own selves still has sin in it. It's part of our nature. And we constantly butt up against what God wants because of the sin in our lives. So God's view of things is different from ours and will continually be different until we get to heaven. And this keeps us also from discerning God's will. Every time we think we've got the good idea, we've got the good plan, God always seems to have a different plan that is much better and far more accurate to what we want to accomplish, but we don't see it because God's ways are different. In Isaiah uh, 55, 1 through 13, God paints this beautiful message to his people about calling them back to himself and about saying like, I have all these things for you if you just follow me. And in this, he says, my ways are not your ways. They're different. God views things differently than we do. And God has ultimately thought of every conclusion that we can think of because he doesn't just call us to do something without first seeing where it's going to go. His ways are different than our ways. So these two things, our sin, warring against us and our desire to follow God and yet not seeing things his way block us from being able to discern God's will. And oftentimes it comes down to our own pride, our own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says it this way, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So it's ultimately God who directs our path. It's ultimately God who shows us where we're supposed to go and how we can accomplish his will. So I want to challenge you guys this week. Where are you at with your relationship with God? What are you butting up against him with? Where are you not trusting him? That he's calling you to this greater calling to accomplish something and you're putting on the brakes. Think about that as you go this week, and next week we'll talk about how those things can be removed.